Okay. I couldn't hear you for a little while. You can hear me. You're breaking up a little bit, I think, but... Uh... Okay, um, I'm just going to tell Etan that I think we're live, and then uh, then afterwards we can start. Oh, good lord! You're really breaking up, Natasha. You're breaking up terribly when you speak. I think your microphone's not uh, right. Are you still there, Natasha? Yeah. I, I can't hear you. I can't hear you at all. Yeah. I'm going to break the call. All right. Let's 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 start. I, uh, hi, hi, can you hear me now? Barely. This is all coming out on the live, you know. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Right, well, let's try and get started. It's a little yes. bit, uh, all right. Do you want to pick a game and share your screen? Yeah, I, I'm. Uh, can I just not? Sh okay, I'll share my screen. No problems. There we are. Um, and we are starting there. Fair enough. Right, okay. I can't see it on the screen. Oh, it's just coming now. Okay, excellent. Um, and we're um, currently not on the... Uh, <laughs> nobody can see us. Just uh, one moment. We'll just get that sorted. I'll just uh, ring off again, Natasha. Just one moment. Okay. Hello. Right. Well, at least you're visible. So that's all good news. So uh, just get that sorted out, make you look a little bit bigger. And then uh, that will be great. OK, let's get started. Sorry, uh, everyone, for the uh, uh, <laughs> all the confusion and everything. Uh, it's just uh, our Skype call just did not seem to want to... Uh, to work at all so uh and uh well you've got my disembodied voice and you've got natasha um fronting it which is probably the right way around i guess 
Let's have a look. Who have we got here? Um, we are going to start on the game Gaming GM. Let's have a look. Gaming GM. Oh, good Lord. I think Gaming GM has not turned up to the party, I think. So, uh... Find. Oh, Natasha, you're, you're breaking up a little bit, I'm afraid. So, let's have a look at this game then. Um, what have we got here? Um, mate, in actual fact. Mate on the board for Alexei Kiriev. It sounds like a Russian name, so he's probably a strong player. Ah, I will just uh, get my screen just a little bit better there. Lovely. And that should be good. Okay, let's... Uh, Go back to the tournament. I'm going to have a look to see what uh, games are still going on. Queen Eating Dragon. That sounds like a good one. So Yan Tim against Queen Eating Dragon. Bit hard to know what all these um, um, what all these uh, um, ratings are because uh, if you don't play very much on light chess, then uh, obviously that's going to be quite uh, um, your rating's going to be quite low. Um, I think probably white can still castle. I mean, um, chess 960, that's quite exciting. You can uh, castle. Uh, on the interface, you do it by moving the king to the left over to the side, over on top of the rook. And then this king will actually move to c1 and the rook will move to d1. So like standard queenside castling, but from a rather strange starting place. Um, this is actually looking quite nice for white, I would imagine. Um, this knight is a bit... Tucked away on h8, probably it's starting square. We see that white brought it to f2. Bishop on g8 is um, um, also not great, although black can play a move like c6 or e6. Probably just a little slight advantage to white there. Ah, now they're taking a little bit of time on that. Let's see whether we can uh, see a little bit more excitement somewhere else. Ooh, Vlad Baziuk against Beat Dennis T. That looks like a, a hell of a game. White has just uh, won a piece. You see, uh, started off with a bishop on a1, probably. So uh, took a good opportunity to uh, to get a queen and bishop battery. Um, and uh, what is black going to do? If um, if the king goes to, uh, to h8, then we've got queen takes f6, takes, and bishop takes mate. Ah, but rook takes f7 is uh, has been played. And uh, yeah, that's uh, um, obviously a better move. So white's just going to end up um, a piece up here. And uh, well, this um, this knight on h4 is uh, is very very weak as well. So I think white's just uh, completely winning there. Um, let's uh, just for these opening rounds, we can maybe just uh, move around a little bit, try and get a feel for it. Ooh. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't think I should have clicked on that one. That looks pretty <laughs> desperately over that one. I think uh, the uh... Matthew, if possible, can you share your screen, please, so I can see the same games you're looking at. Oh, lovely. I thought I was doing that, but uh, never mind. I can oh. just see you, whereas our audience can't see you at all. Fair enough. <laughs> Start sharing. Um, let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Nearly managed to share my screen there. Share that one. Start sharing. There we are. Should be shared as far as I can tell. I can just see black at the moment. Oh no, there it is, brilliant. Okay, we're there, we're there. So this is 3E Crow against Eridu. And they've got 10 minutes, um, which is still quite fast. I played in the Chess 960 last night and that was three minutes and two seconds. And I found that incredibly fast for Chess 960 because right at the start of the game, you've got to make sense of this position, which will be completely new to you. Um, so so I was, yes, I struggled with the with the speed of the, the games, but 10 minutes, I think that's much more doable. Oh, this is getting, getting very close to mate, this one. I think uh, Queen, G, good for black. Queen G1 very check, good for black. Queen G1 check will be... Uh be mate let me put that arrow there that'll be the end of the game are there any more mates um not mates in one i don't think um obviously uh 
Ah, there we are. And it's been played. Black is victorious. Ah, let's go back to the uh, to the tournament and see. Oh, there's uh, an interesting one here. So this looks more or less like a normal position, um, although the rook on h5 is a little bit um, out of the way. But um, black is going to play uh, h7 to h6 and uh, and simply. Um, uh, yeah, I get his um, his rook free, so that should be this should be a nice position for uh, for black. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm a little bit nervous about uh, something like this because um, uh, trying to get your um, opening up the queen side whilst this rook is still out of the way on h5 might turn out to be a little bit annoying. I'd, I'd probably take on here now, takes and maybe go um, rook there, and just try and. Uh, yeah. Because although black's the exchange up, um, that rook is is right out of the way. So yeah, so it's I mean, almost like white's a piece up. <laughs> I've also got this this you know ideas like bishop takes e five takes and d six you know these sort of things. So um, yeah, black really needs to. This is it's got to be the move now. You've got to play h six. Um, now of course you can't uh, really tell the strength of the players from their ratings here. Um, because some of them will be quite new to chess 960 on live chess, so um, they they could they'll, they'll start off. Everybody starts off at 1500, and so if they if someone's got a rating of 1500, they could be really any strength at all. It just means they haven't played much chess 960 on here. Yeah, so this is actually this is starting to get a little bit nasty for. Uh, actually, I think White's clearly better here now. Um, if you take on here, I'll take on here. And um, uh, all these pawns are weak. The rook's still got to get loose. Um, so no, I think white's, uh, white's doing very, very well here. Um, let's just have a little look just uh, to see whether there's any other exciting games going on. Ah, these m must be, I guess, the only two games going on now. Uh, so, oh, there's uh, Yam Tim against Queen Eating Dragon, which looks very even. Let's have a look at this one because this is quite... Oh, good lord. Black took on e5 with the rook and white didn't take it. Oh, that was uh, probably a bit of a gamble, maybe even a pre-move from white. Um, but now this, uh. Uh, this rook should go uh, here now. Um, although it's, it's getting into an interesting ending, but I mean, black does have this move h6 to free the rook. So rook there. Oh, rook a5. It's got to be, come on, h6. Got to be played. <laughs> um, and then what are we going to do afterwards um, uh, so I suppose h6 we will go probably rook takes a4 rook c8 mm. Ooh, I'm getting slightly worried now I mean is black going to try and play c4 and try and swap off rooks I'm not oh he plays uh, this now but uh, obviously the rook can, uh, can take on uh, f4 now and it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six against one, two, three, four. So two pawns for the exchange. On the other hand, white's... Interesting, um, yeah. That could, that could go either way. Yeah, white's pawns are ruined. Actually, I think I'd, if I was white, I would probably um, uh, look to play rook a6, I think. Not um, worry about taking that f pawn with the rook. No. You could because, maybe take it with the king a bit later if you fancy. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about here, rook here, actually. And... Uh, getting the rook swapped off and then you'll take yeah. off and uh yeah i'm a little bit worried about uh, rook f8 to be it. honest because yeah. uh, the a pawn is is not that fast so oh this is a decent move but white can play knight g5 now and now the rook if you go rook f8 you could now move the rook away and then you know aim to get into uh to e6 and attack uh, these two wow these arrows are fantastic <laughs> I wonder if there's anything else that I can uh, that I can do. Well, like circles. I have circles I can do. Look, you see, there we are. But uh, oh yes. Okay. So this is not a good move, I don't think. Uh, we're just going to play rook check, and if king there, you've got rook mate. Oh yes, that would be nice. So uh, the king moves back. The king has to drop oh, back. Oh okay. Okay. A4. Haven't done that. Um, that's a bit of a shame. There's a real chance to take a. I think to take a lot of uh, a lot of pawns basically. Um, 
Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh. Oh, that's, oh. oh, I, oh. I think... I think, I think it's a misclick now. It's I had a, several misclicks It's a misclick. It's a misclick indeed, and, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, you see that Black's time is uh, is very, very bad here, so... Yeah, um, yeah. It's... Um, uh, and there's no... Um, it's it's There's no increment, so... Uh, it's 10 oh, plus zero. Black so will run out of time. Black is going to run out of time. Oh, good Lord. I've, I've, I've played a couple of games just uh, just before on the, on the Light Chess interface. I have to say, it's a lovely interface. Really, uh, you really can uh, can make uh, moves very, very easily. You know, it uh, doesn't uh, doesn't lag at all. Yeah, because I've never really had any problems with misclicks on it before. But last night I had really, I mean, it must have been five misclicks in the evening. I had a lot. I'm not sure why. Nerves, maybe. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> but but maybe it's because I, I felt like it was fast because I was doing chess nine sixty and it was three minutes. But it was kept, like, whenever I was going to try and do a long rook move, I'd sometimes drop it before it would get to the place. <laughs> it's very difficult. Yeah, you've got to have a good a good long mouse mat for those things. Yeah. So, and sometimes something to do with dragging or clicking, isn't it? Oh, good lord. Well. A nice little fork there, but Black's lost on time. Yes. And there was one more game going, was there? No, I think that's uh, finished. That's well, it. It looks, that's it looks like Queen game, Eating yeah. Dragon actually won that game. My goodness. Indeed. Ah. Do we know who any of these people are? Um, not really. Um, well, not, not for I me. I know Ricardo Guerci, of course. Uh, now, Ricardo, I've played him before, I think at, you know, like when we were live in person, I played him Chess 960. And I've also played him at Twixt. Yeah, I was looking for Mary Hatman, who's uh, Martin Hamer, who played yesterday. Hello, Mary Hatman, yeah. Um, but I don't see him anywhere. I thought Rinat Rina, um, Zyadinov was uh, was actually a GM, but uh, he seems to have lost yeah. his first game, so I might be wrong. Um, yeah, very hard to know. Very hard there to you know. Are. NM. There's an NM there. National Master. Alexei Kiriev. Who knows? Ah, there we are. The games have started. Let's get one from okay. the start. Oh, this looks like quite a decent game. So what have we got? We've got oh bishops in the centre. That's going to be um, uh, a little problematical. Yeah. We, we've got the um, we can we've got a nice thing. We can activate the rook. This rook through yeah, h one to h three. Really fast at the start. I would have a bit of a think about where. Me too. Me too. Which 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 pieces to move? Because so, right, do you want to put your centre pawns out at the moment? And look at the um. By the way, the kings and the rook. So there's the rook on f one and the rook on h one. So castling kingside. Would be moving that rook from h1 to f1 once Indeed. you've got the other rook out of the way and casting queen side you'd be moving that king all the way over to c1 and the rook to d1 yeah that could be a, a hell of an escape that would uh, be a surprise move i think one thing that does Indeed. happen because your opponent would have forgotten all about it i suspect casting king side is more likely or yeah. you could even just push your h pawn and leave both your rooks where they are you could indeed. I, I'm, oh, I was I was actually thinking that White would have um, would have played um, uh, just uh, e4 at uh, at this point and uh, actually get a quite a nice King's Indian. You know, you're going to play uh, uh, d5 and then c5, but uh, uh, he's played knight yeah. d3, which is uh, um, gets the knight in, I suppose. Yeah, I mean the, the only thing is uh, this knight on b3 is is slightly awkward uh, with a pawn on c4. Yeah. Uh, so this is this is quite. Sensible. I've got the c5 in already. He's got that in already, yeah. And uh, I mean, if the knight comes round to c5, it's going to be attacking this weak square, which is uh, um, which has yeah. been weakened by this f6 move. So, uh, um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Black hasn't been very kind to this bishop on d8 either by playing these moves d6, e5, f6. Yeah, and you might be able to get your bishop out to like b3 at some point as well. Yeah, I think e4 now feels uh, feels very nice, very very tempting. Um, Maybe even the e4 and then uh, f4 actually uh, follow up with. Because mm. Black's pieces are very, very passive here. Okay, let's have a, a little look. Um, I'll keep on um, just at the yeah, early stages. Because what we can see is if people interpret these positions in the same way or different ways as well. Oh, let's have a look at uh, this one. Game King against Victor and H. Uh, we'll just have a you look see, at my I have no idea who Game King is, but my theory was it might be Ankrish. Because Ankrish... There was Game King playing the other day, and 
and Ankush playing. So I don't who's, know. Who's, don't know. who's, who's yeah. Ankush, uh, Natasha? No, no, I don't know. I'm making it up. I think it might. Okay. Oh, my theory was going. Yeah. Might no, but, but Ankush, you should because... explain. You should explain who Ankush is for. Uh, sorry, sorry. Ankush is the um, the reigning Pentamind champion. So he is a Fide master at chess. You might know him from our Chess for Life website because we interviewed him uh, for Chess for Life in the time of the coronavirus. And he was telling us he's, a, he's actually a professional poker player. He's also professional level at bridge um, and Fide master at chess. So he just really likes all the games. Reigning mind sports champion. So he, uh, he did well, I think, in Settlers of Catan the other day. And uh, yeah, just any game he's going to be good at. Um, I'm saying all this just on the theory that he's game king 51, but I don't actually know that for a fact at all. I'm just kind of making that up. Um, so, so, so this has uh, been quite an interesting opening, actually. Um, so um, the bishops on... He did um, play f4 on move one, and, and Ankush does play the birds. <laughs> he um, uh, the, the bishops were exchanged on the uh, long diagonal, and uh, um, now he's played queen d4. As I said, there's a, a little threat here with uh, discovered attack on the queen. I think black, um, what does black want to do? Black probably, well, either I think get, wants to put the knight on f6 or on d6. That's the easy way of covering all these uh, problems. Okay, queen f6, not silly either. Um, just trying to avoid um, losing anything on the uh, on the pawn structure. This is queen and knight, they're quite, uh, quite awkward actually, slightly difficult to get away. Because if the um, if the bishop moves to b seven, then we've got knight. Oops, we've got knight takes d seven. So uh, got to watch out for that as well. A four, a five. Quite you interesting. know, Matthew, do, do all the games get the same starting position, or do they all get different? Starting they get different positions? ones. They get different ones. I was going to say because I was going to wonder how the kings had got to where they were from those initial starting positions. No, they're all different. They're all different. Oh, that's interesting. So where is this queen going to go? Um, c4 actually i find people are playing very fast i have to say um i'm always yeah. a lot i'm always a lot slower in um in, in chess you 960. With, um, with 10 minutes you would have a little time at the start you, you might be able to budget a little bit of time at the start to work out that feels that feels a bit risky but i think i would take with the c pawn Ooh, the a pawn the a file oh, yeah, a little bit now there's a a file just um, need to get your queen in there, and then <laughs> I guess his king has castled as well, so um, he can't uh, <laughs> castle out of uh, out of it. Uh, this is actually very dangerous. I think uh, I think we'll just we'll just play queen b four here. Yeah, and then you can maybe put it to a three next and come in. Yeah, I, I suppose um, what we're seeing we're going to queen b four. We're going to have king b seven. We could have d four. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe Black's surviving this because you can go knight e4 after. So I, I think king b7 though looks like the move that you really have to play here. Mm. I wonder if White's castled. Who's castled? Has anyone castled yet? Um, I think Black's castled. I don't, I don't, th I don't think White's castled. Yeah. So White so can White cast could suddenly castle. It. <laughs> could castle king side. Could, could castle, castle king side. King side. Oh, this um, is a bit. But I don't know if that would make the king any safer. To be honest. This is a bit risky, actually. Well, it would bring the rook into play. That's the uh, the nice That's thing. True. So queen a3 yeah. looks quite interesting, but maybe we can ignore it. Maybe we're just going to play d6 and then chase the knight away. That is probably quite decent. So, yeah, d6 will go. Ah, fine. Go queen a7, king c8. Doesn't bishop b7 defend? Martin's not playing because he's in the chat. Good Lord. But is he playing he another event? Playing Mary Hatman. Is he playing in another event? That's the important thing. Oh, I see. Martin, are you playing anything else simultaneously to watching the uh, commentary? I wonder. Martin is another player that plays all sorts of different games very, very well. And he's also a member of our Great Britain Shogi team in the World Shogi League. Great Britain too. And we are, what are we, midway in Division 3? midway -ish. In the World Shogi League. Indeed. Which is not bad, given we're all beginners, really. We're, we're doing pretty well. And we our plan is to make our way up the divisions. And in the end, we'll be world champions, probably. But that might take a few years. <laughs> so, yeah, this actually often happens in, um, in, in Chess 9-6. You get a nice initiative, but your pieces are not quite right. 
and it just ends up um, it just ends up sort of uh, dying down a little bit. Let's have a look at another game because this one's gone a little bit quiet. I Martin think. was playing backgammon. It didn't last long. I, I assume you just won very quickly then, Martin. Let's have a look at this one, which is okay. quite... Whoa! Queen eating dragon. Actually, the queen eating dragon has eaten the queen, I think. Oh. How did that happen? Or was this... Um, oh, I think this was one of those, one of those hidden queens that you don't realise that the bishop's on the long diagonal. So after e4, uh, bishop takes f6 it. happened. Yeah. So queen eating okay. dragon has eaten the queen and I think is uh, heading to a... Um, a very good position there, I think. Yes. Let's have a look. What else have we got here? Um, oh, Apradan. Okay. Oh, this was the game we were looking at earlier. Let's just see how that's turned out. Actually, Black hasn't done too badly. Uh, got a nice square on d5 for the knight. Um, but this pawn on e5 is very, very weak. Um, and I think you could certainly... You'd certainly have a good think about taking it, indeed. Um, there could be some tactics, but I don't think they're going to be very dangerous here. Maybe queen, queen f5? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that we could, I mean, we could, we could just move back. We could just move back with a bishop. We could even, um, we could even move here, I think. Uh, queen b2, that's mm -hmm. much it's, oh well, is that more elegant? We we might have knight b4 here. Knight takes b4. Uh, then we can get everything. Ooh, it's very very risky. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, something like knight g3, for example, might be might be very unpleasant. I don't think the tactics are working for uh, for black. Ah, he's he's done it. But I think yeah. I think this actually just wins. Um, this must win something. I mean, you can go knight g3. I, I think you can go queen b1 to defend the... the uh, but then, then you've got this no, bishop... No, you lose, because then bishop b3 check exactly. and pick up the queen. Exactly. So, um, now this is completely gone for uh, for black, I think. It's... Uh, well, I just have to see knight g3, I think. I guess knight d6 is also not bad. Um, the big point about it is that... Um, um, oops, good lord. If, um, if you go knight d6, knight d3... I just uh, take on here, you take on there, and then I give this intermediate check. Yeah, knight d6. Maybe knight g3 was even stronger, actually, but uh, good enough. Let's have yeah. a, another look at some more games. I don't know what I can... Has... See if you can see Riccardo Goetchi. He's from, as his name sounds like, he's from Italy. Um... Uh, where is Riccardo? I don't here. know whether he won his first game. So yet. if I click... Yeah, I can probably click like that. Yeah. Ooh, and I think look. he's 2,000, 2,100, 2,200 kind of strength, okay. chess player. So what have we got? Um, Ricardo Ricardo is actually... Uh, I'm a bit confused, actually, as to where the pieces are. So uh, black, oh, uh, Ricardo so is black. Ricardo is black. Oh, yes. Ricardo is just okay. easily winning. So we were winning. looking from the black point of view, I guess. Indeed. Easily winning there, e3, 2, e1. That's going to be a queen. Yes. Yeah, he's okay, uh, nice. won the game. Very nice. Very, very nice. Fantastic. Okay. And what about, I just saw Proton 2020. I don't know who that is, but I do know they beat me yesterday. Uh, he's uh, finished already, so... Uh... Finished already, fine. Oh, let's have a look at... Uh... Oh, not Queen Eating Dragon. That was uh, Mr... S oh, let's have a look. Mr. Smith AMC against Vlad Baziuk. Okay. That sounds like a a strong Russian Grandmaster. Who's actually yeah. a, a piece up in this position? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, there's some tricks with Bishop A5, but you've always got uh, Knight E8 to defend. So I fear that this is not. But I don't know. Um, the knight's going to go to E8, um, and that G pawn is going to go. So um, probably from the white side, I think you'd be looking at playing B4. Got to try and push your pawn there. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is the queen on f1 is very oh, unpleasant. The queen, yeah. Queen's so defending, isn't it? Black might just go g3 and threaten bishop g4, and then uh, this one, yeah. uh, knight on d1, is. Uh, so. Yeah, it's got to be good for black, surely. Oh, it's definitely good for black. Yeah, yeah there's not really going to be a um, uh, any sort of. Uh, 
perpetual check here either. That's quite a nice move, moving the pawn up and uh, the queen's defending all this so the, the white queen can't really get very close to the black king. So, um, oops, I think now probably uh, queen g2 is uh, simple. There was a trick, I mean, if you've, you if you've gone bishop g4, yeah. there's queen g7, but... Uh, but this is... Uh, You're not queen g7 still. Oh, well, and then you just... King c8. Just, uh, just move your king around, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, this is this is winning. This is uh, this is gone. Let's see whether we can yeah. get some last minute excitement. See what else? Yeah. Um, oh, I think uh, Queen eating dragons doing quite. Oh, Alexei Kiriev against chicken. That looks like quite a tough one. They might be two reasonably strong players. These two because uh, um, Alexei Kiriev sounds strong, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, chicken. You never know. Chicken's hard to tell. So C5, that's a sharp I mean, move. look, to me it sounds less strong, chickened, but <laughs> Indeed. you never know. Um, okay, so C4, that was uh, an obvious move, I guess, just to uh, try and weaken the light squares. Can we, can we possibly play this move, B5? Oh, that might be quite awkward, actually. If C takes B5, we go C4. Hmm, I think that would have been quite awkward, um, but okay. That chance has not been taken. Um, this is nicer for white, I think, now, because, uh, for example, the knight can come round f2 to e4. So, um, oh, uh, black's just given away the uh, the e5 pawn here. Although, I don't know, yeah, I'm, uh, it was a little bit risky to take it. You know, the, the rook would have come to the open e-file. So, um, um, knight on f2 there. Um, coming into uh, to e4. A little Do you know if we're white. live on the MSO channel as well? Uh, that's where we should be live on, yeah. We should be, yeah. Okay. Uh, we're on, live on our YouTube channel, aren't we, as well? Yes, we're definitely live on YouTube. I can okay. see that. Fantastic. Yeah, we should be on the MSO oh, channel. I don't know whether yeah. you can check that at all. I don't know whether I will you know. check. I will check actually. So if you you, you comment on I'll, uh, just... I'll just keep on talking. So um, you keep on talking. So yeah, I mean, whites. What can white do? Well, white's got a couple of breaks. I mean, um, f4 might. It's risky, uh, but um, it might happen at some stage if the the, the opportunity is right. Um, rook b1 threatening b4. I think black should stop that with a5. Um, I think black's got to try and sort of hang in there tough and uh, and just stop white from doing anything. Ooh, I don't... Mm, queen e7. Uh, you, you do start to wonder now, it might not happen now, but there could be tactics. But, okay, b3 is a little bit a little bit slow, really. Um, I mean, another idea for white could be to go king g2 and then look for h4 to h5 with the rook coming to h1. Um, it feels a little bit risky always because there's this square, you know, and you put your king towards it. Um, I suppose if you're particularly worried, you might be able to look at playing king f2 even, but I think king g2, you'll get away with that. And um, yeah, and then h4 to h5, rook h1, that sort of thing. I think that might be quite a nice idea. Um, this is more difficult for black, though, to uh, to keep a grip of. Where is that knight move? Oh, okay, b4. Oh, that's, that's careless to allow that, I think. Um, that is going to be quite nice for white. But yes, uh, it is. It is. We are live. We're live on Facebook. Fantastic. The MSO Facebook page. Brilliant. OK. Yeah, actually, um, this is multi streaming. So we're um, all over the place. First time we've done that. First time we've done that. Uh, yeah. No, very nice technology called Restream. So uh, um, I hadn't heard of it before, but I really like it. So what is White going to do here? A little bit. This knight's coming around to, to D6 to remove this knight. Um, I think that's quite sensible what White's done. Just um, going to double up on the uh, on the B file. Um, always the, the the aim really that um, uh, you know you've got to you've got to try. Ooh, we're dropping a pawn there, aren't we? We certainly are. This drops a pawn, which I think is uh, kind of nasty. Knight takes here now. Now where is our counterplay here? Queen c6. Well, rook b8, I suppose, is a start. Uh, rook c8. White's okay. 
c5 was also possible. Um, ooh, this is starting to get quite loose now. Yeah, knight uh, pawn's gone. Uh, black starting to collapse here, but very short of time, of course. Oh, and the queen's gone. Oh, and Alexei Kirev wins to move to two points. Let's have a look. What else have we got? Um, oh, we have quite a few people on two, including GM. Tyran. 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 Do we know who that is? Absolutely not. No. So this game's been uh, been quite a tight little struggle. Um, now it looks quite normal. You could have got this from a normal game, of course. Um, oh. Yeah, I don't know really what... Um, I guess white should try and uh, play knight d1. Just uh, um, cover e3, f2. That's a start. Um, ooh, that's a little bit risky. Knight e3 check uh, to c4 was maybe... Uh, would have forked a couple of things oh, yeah. there but um yeah, but okay fine. um king e1 well nice. as long as white follows up with knight d1 soon then uh that might be sensible bishop h3 all these moves are making me a little bit nervous i, I think knight e3 would be decent rook f3 uh rook f3, rook f3. can we go rook d3 so here this pawn on g3 we can probably go rook d3. Ooh, here, okay. Ooh, that's very passive. That is very passive. Um, king e6, yeah. Oh, how is black going to move now, actually? Maybe knight d1, yeah, I guess. Coming round to f2, maybe. And both these players now have less ooh. than a minute left with no increment. Ooh, ooh wait a minute. Ooh, I think, I think the... I think the uh, um, I think knight f2, was that maybe even trapping the bishop on g4? Because if bishop h5, we go g4. I think it was. But, uh, oh, it was. Um, yeah. But uh, I think uh, 20 seconds uh, advantage here. This is uh, huge. Yeah. Um, so, but white's just got to go for it. Ooh, rookie. So rook and five against rook and five. Is there thumping 20 going? seconds extra for white. Is there thumping going on? Or is there thumping oh, going on? That's my, my daughter playing basketball outside. Oh, good Lord. Well, there we are. Ooh, um, got to be careful here. It, it's uh, it's silly to go into a king and pawn ending, actually, really, because uh, you might end up lost. Uh, black should be going e3. Black should be going e3. Ooh, uh, now this is a little bit more tricky. Yeah, because you can do a lot with pre moves, can't you, in king and pawns? Yeah. yeah. So, okay, but I think is black going to be in time here? Yeah. You've got to have good technique to do this in six seconds. Oh, you need to pre-move. You need to pre-move. Oh, oh, Queen C7. Oh, good Lord. Oh, he's going to go for a draw, I think. Oh, they oh. actually are getting an increment. Queen A4. No. Are they getting an increment? I don't, I don't think know. so. No, it's 10 plus zero. Uh, okay. Take the pawn. Take the pawn. Take the pawn. Take the pawn. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Take the pawn, yes. <laughs> and a draw. Uh, draw. Yeah, black. Hard white, draw. Yeah, white would be a bit disappointed there with with twenty seconds extra. You know, it's really. Uh... So the next round will start in uh, fifty seconds. So. Um, okay. uh, so Duda's... who's on two? Then we've got nine players on two out of two. Alexei Kiriev, uh... Queen Eating Dragon, Vlad Basyuk, KSPTW, Proton Twenty Twenty. Sounds like a make of vitamin, doesn't it? Ricardo Guecci, who Natasha knows. Let's watch Proton. Proton, I thought I had a, a reasonable game against Proton, but um, I thought Proton was quite sharp. Uh, quite a... knew their tactics. All right, we'll follow Proton. Since you've recommended it. See, because now you've told me. You see, I don't know also who is Etan. Um, who you told me he beat me last night in the 960. So maybe that's him. Could be. I'm going to get nowhere just guessing who is, who is everybody. Okay, Proton. Vlad Bass against oh, Proton. Proton. Let's have a look at the position. So Bishop on B1, yeah. not too bad. You go D4, C4. Knight on A1 again. I never liked that one very much. Rook on C1 is excellent for a quick C4. 
Um, yeah, Kings, on, Kings on G1, very nice. The knight moves uh, out to G3 or E3. G3 probably, and you'll go rook F1. Bishop on E1's a bit funny, but you might play uh, F3, uh, uh, bishop F2. So, ah, not too bad, this. And um, actually, this knight on, on B3 is very nicely placed with a C pawn gone. It uh, has a very nice square on C5. So, um, so should black try and play C5? Oh, black can't play C5 right now. So why it's actually... I think White's done the, quite the well. The first move looks quite important in this position. It's, it's um, quite nice to be White in this position, I would think. Yeah, although, I mean, Black could have tried D4, C5 on the very first move. You know, that would have been... Uh, uh, yeah. That would have been uh, yeah. uh, maybe maybe quite clever. I don't know. But um, uh, H3. Why would you play H3? What's the point of H3? Oh, it was a misclick. It was a misclick. He meant to play ah, H4. Ah, it's a misclick. Yeah. He meant oh, to play well. H4. Oh, well, one tempo down. But I, I'm not sure. It's maybe, yeah. Uh, not 100% sure about the plan anyway. I mean, um, on the other hand, yeah, combination of bishop and uh, onrushing H pawn might be quite nice. Yeah, because you could put your queen on like, well, not D3 now, maybe C2, and threaten mate. So I suppose you'd see it. That is uh, always possible. Um, uh, it's trying to do queen to h5. Yeah, I will probably play h6, I suppose. You go queen h5. Um, queen d3, I think, is the better one because uh, you're really sort of forcing g6 now. And then you yeah, can play h5. Like alpha zero would. Like Alpha Zero would indeed. Um, you do feel that Black should be trying to play a, a move like E5 because after you know, ooh, after D takes E5, you can maybe go C5 and then that Bishop is attacking, uh, you know, attacking a pawn on E5. So, or maybe Black is going to play C6 now and then just to get an E5 afterwards. That ah, Martin's well. just told me E10 is night sleep. Ah, ha, ha. I thought he might be Night Leap because Night Leap was organising yesterday. So is Night Leap playing today? So Martin is who? Who's Proton? Bishop G three would be uh, annoying here, I think. Hmm. Okay. I think uh, I would have thought that White missed uh, missed that because uh, it looks uh, horrible to allow uh, the double pawns and uh, and the weak centre like that. Yeah. But, uh, Anyway, e6. Um, so white's, white's played a little bit strangely here. I, I think, uh, yeah. Oh, Martin lost a proton as well, but doesn't know who he is. Yeah. So I think knight b3 okay, to c5 well. is, uh, is the move I would really be wanting to play here. I think with black, I quite like the look of e5, actually. Uh, queen f6 is another decent move. Let's have a, um, that one's uh, shaping up quite nicely. Let's just see whether there's yeah. uh, some more exciting stuff going on. Oh, good Lord, this looks like a weird one. Alexei Kiriev against... Ah, okay, against Ricardo Corrici. So neither side has castled yet. Um, so the king can, will probably castle this side and that king will castle that side. So uh, nothing much happening there. Um, bishops, yeah, it's quite quite balanced. This oh, bishop takes b three. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that to be honest. Not uh, just give up the bishop pair like that. I would have thought castling uh, queenside and then trying to play for uh, for yeah. d five and e five. To be honest, would be uh, quite nice. This looks very passive. Um, I mean, you also start wondering about just playing rook a one. And then king c1 and casting that way but having the rook nice and active because these bishops are uh but maybe black i suppose i suppose if white does that black need not castle either yeah black might uh, consider casting on the king's side i suppose possible but that is quite weak i mean uh, you don't have many pieces and uh we'll have h4 h5 so um in principle i like white's position a lot um but what would i do with white maybe I'd maybe look for an h4, maybe look for a rook a1, I think. Uh, queen e2, queen e2. Well, fine, but... 
I don't know whether it was whether it was really necessary. I don't know. Um, I mean, yeah, I could also just go for a plan of uh, casting kingside and then pushing this pawn all the way through. That's possible as well. Yeah. Oh, good lord! Um, are we just losing a a piece here now? Oh. Are we? Oh my goodness! What? Well, five e e d four. Well, I mean, bl black. Oh, we castled. Black yeah. castled. Yeah. Oh, d well, five still. <laughs> still, still. And then white castles. Okay. Are they both castled? King yeah. Side? I mean, white can play bishop takes b six, but white doesn't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, this is. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, but this is wrong to to castle um, uh, to castle like this. Oh, but if you take on b six, yeah, yeah, but, then but maybe take on yeah, 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 but yeah. you don't, but you don't want to do that. I mean, you know, that's the the point. Yeah. It's a concession for uh, for white. You don't want to give up your uh, your two bishops, really. You could take. Could you take on d five with the knight? Uh, take back. After you still have to take. You still have to take on b six first, right? I just take it, I think, wouldn't I? And then bishop takes. Uh, everything's defended. King yeah, G7, okay. yeah. No, you can't do that. So A B. No, you can't. Bishop G two. I suppose, yeah, it's not. Um, it's not a disaster for uh, for White. A little bit lucky in a way, but um, uh, pawn on E six is a little bit weak, and uh, pawn on D five, knight on C six. Black's got to find uh, just a, a good way of getting himself uh, uh, developed there. But I would have thought uh, some knight D four at some stage, queen out. It's going to be quite nice for um, for uh, for black. I would have thought, or nice. So probably. people in the in the chat, have you tried chess nine sixty, and how do you like it compared with normal chess? I do, I quite like it. I think. You're kind of making it up as you go along from the start. Oh, this is quite a, an interesting game. Um, oh, this is night leap actually um, against. Uh, so oh, I guess one night leap. So that's. That's E10. So E10 is playing white in this game. So E10 is the the kind of overall, would you say, organiser of the mind sports Olympiad. So not Indeed. just the chess, but actually all the other games as well. That's and he a... still manages to 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 play some of the games as well. So he's um, he's playing this, and actually he quite likes also. I know he likes chess variants as well. So as well as chess nine sixty. He likes. I think you you played some, didn't you, last year, Matthew? I did um, indeed. Yes. All these games, like where you put a coin on and you're not allowed to go to that square, and atomic chess, and all sorts of interesting stuff. Yes, yeah, so this is quite an interesting one. Uh, like G two. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's not it's yeah. just, it's not that bad though. I mean, we we can uh, we can take on there uh, takes takes. I suppose queen takes. But um, uh, well, yeah, rook b6 to g6 depends whether you can do anything because this bishop on d8 is horrific, of course. So if you could swap off the queens or something, you wouldn't be so yeah, bad. Yeah, I see what you mean. Um, so it looks a bit dangerous for white, don't you think? It is quite dangerous, but um, I mean, there's there's even maybe is there even knight g5 this position because I've got this threat of queen oh, e6 check. Could be good enough. Um, maybe after knight g5 we'll go knight f4, cover e6 and also have some ideas of knight h3. It's a funny position, isn't it? I, could, I, I don't know, on, I mean, I think it's, on like I think it's actually yeah. knight f5 is also quite, uh, quite annoying. Uh, yeah, actually I wonder whether, whether knight f5 was, uh, was quite oh. decent. Because I'm threatening mate on g7 simply. And if you go rook f7 I, go, yeah. I can maybe go knight g5. Could you go rook f5? We can take it, but yeah, then I, then I take it back. Um, um, you, could, you could go rook f6. That was the only one I wasn't sure about. Knight f5, rook f6. But I could then, then I can take, sorry, then I can take on uh, on g2. That's the idea. I mean, there are pins, right? But uh, mm. but who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, queen e6 anyway, king h8. Um, I suppose e tan is probably going to be... And you've got to be a bit careful here, though. I mean, if you go knight e5, there's this cunning trick, knight f4, knight f7, takes, takes. Oh, yes, that looks nice. And, and knight h3, mate. you got a knight h3, mate, at the end. Yeah, so I think... Um, 
So knight g5 is gone. Yeah, knight f4. I think that's probably uh, that's probably okay for black. Playing, putting the queen uh, e6 check probably wasn't a good idea from that point of view. Oh uh, yeah, because it's on freeze now. Yeah, on e5 you had all sorts of tricks, I think, but. Uh, yeah. I can still fight. I mean, uh, you know, something like Queen G four maybe um, is probably sensible to. Uh, but I mean, Black's definitely. Um, well, I mean, after Queen G four, you can maybe even go E five, for example, and you're getting this bishop acted now. So, yeah, I think that looks uh, that's quite gone quite difficult for uh, for White there. Yeah. Um. Let's have a look. What else have we got? Um. Oh, we've got some. Uh, got game king quite a an interesting Ooh, game king looks that oh it's all oh, everything's happening in this game it looks like black's coming in with an attack and white is forking those two rooks yeah this is not completely easy what i would what i would want to do is to play um a move like d3 yeah. Um, it's not going to work, but with the idea of, um, of of playing a move like knight a4 afterwards and giving mate on b2, because if I go to a4 immediately, you can just take, take, and go knight d3 and uh, cover b2. Yeah. Um, so that's what I would like to do, but I think probably d3, we could probably just take on there, um, which would, well, yeah, I mean, that would that would be all right. Um, you wouldn't. So, you wouldn't just like take on d one and take the money. You could do it. You can just go knight d one. You're threatening queen c one check. So, um, but I'll probably go knight d eight check. I suppose first. Yeah. And after rook d eight, I'll go queen takes d one, and you haven't. You're. You're. Are you a pawn down? Yeah, you're a pawn down simply. So, oh, rook, yeah, rook, so we want to make some more. Rook h1, I'd, I'd definitely take on d8 check now in between. <gasps> oh, yes, you must. Uh, that's Why not a very. Do that? Yeah. Yes, yes, I bet black missed that. Yeah, so now you take. Must take. And king d8, but now this is, uh, yeah, I don't know. Knight d3 would be uh, would be uh, a very easy way to uh, to get rid of the knight. Probably uh, not the, the best move. Um, so white's what a pawn up now. White's a pawn up now. Maybe d3. Maybe d3 is quite uh, sensible. Still and, not uh, completely clear, or do you think it is? Uh, no, it takes some uh, some effort to win it, but um, it should be possible. Slowly, you're gonna because yeah. you, you're gonna start attacking. You play if you play d3, maybe queen d2, knight e2. Uh, then you're attacking the pawn on d4. Black has to play e5, so you go f4. And it just starts yeah. unraveling, you know. That's the yeah. uh, so uh, yeah. I think uh, that's looking quite good. Um, let's have a look. Oh, uh, uh, what's happening in this one? I I, I imagine that White started with bishops on uh, a one and uh, a one and b one and a eight and b eight. So yeah, you know, those bishops haven't really managed to get too active and uh oh actually black's just a rook up there wow that's going to be uh yeah. that's going to be curtains quite soon i fear let's have another look here um oh we've got a a, a very normal looking position here this could just come from normal chess actually so um pleasant position for white proton thinking um got to be very careful here because you're right down on time now so um yeah um in principle white can uh white should Proton's, be able to... uh, no no vlad vlad has his pawn right up to h6 i mean oh g4 wow probably a good move actually um this queen is very awkwardly placed. Oh, the rook on d8 is gone. Yep, there we are. <laughs> oh dear. It's very hard. It was well, a very. It just shows how useful your pawn on h6 is. Yeah. No, it's a very, a very hard position to defend there for, uh, for black with, uh, with no time. Um, let's have a look. What else have we got here? Um, 
Oh, okay, this one's this one's quite uh, involved. Uh, Black's two pawns up though. Two pawns up and uh, with a great position there. Um, taking the two bishops as well. I'm not sure about that actually, but yeah, okay, not too bad. Um, so threatening knight takes f2 and bishop d4. Um, I don't know uh, what we could try and do here. Knight e5 does not look very friendly. I'd probably, yeah, maybe bishop e3. I don't know, f4 is not stupid here. Um, b5, a lot of things loose here. In principle, white's position is uh, is kind of collapsing. And of course, black's got uh, a lot more time there. So uh, I think that's going to be quite a clear one. Um, we'll have a look because uh, maybe that's going to be the uh, one of the few remaining games. Let's have a look. Um, oh, Ricardo Gwitch against Alexei Kirev. How is that one going? Oh, it looks quite, uh, looks quite even, really, actually. So um, I think That's White amazing. should. Amazing, uh, they're into a, into an, even material end game. Yeah. Rook d four. Yeah, how is uh, Black going to do this? I suppose, um, yeah, I mean, Rook F2 is obvious, but then you'll, you'll play B6. So Bishop F2, well, I'd start getting some checks now with White, I think. Oh, yeah. oh that's also quite a, oh. a decent one. Top it off. Yeah, uh, that's going to be a draw very soon, I think. Yeah, that's pretty drawn. Oh, good lord. <laughs> White's given away the uh, the pawn on f4 there. What was Oops. he thinking? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, White's... <laughs> what? Oh, no. Ricardo. But, but he's never going to win that, so... Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. This is all horribly wrong. Oh, no. With a minute on the clock as well. Yeah, this is just uh Okay, well okay. You, Yeah, you you never know, well, you never know. No, but G three, isn't G three just winning here? Or am I missing something? What? G three was just queening. Oh god, this is not clear. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we, how clear is this now? Unsure. We're gonna have a bishop check there. Ooh, uh Bishop C six, Bishop A seven. Uh, King d2, I think you've got to go, but I think that's fine. Well, King f4, we're going. We're probably going to come back to e1. Ah, the pawn guns to g3. It's gone. Yeah. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, no. Oh, good Lord. It was just so... You just stayed, stayed with the f pawn. That's all you had to do. Oh, dear. Oh, well. That's a shame. There we are. Yeah. And White was blind. And, oh, good Lord, just uh, this thrilling game. Our plan against... Uh, so, um, okay. The queen. Oh, our plan was only five seconds left. Yeah. And... Mate in one. Quite a bit of trouble with the king. Yeah. All right. Should we just take a, a two minute pause and then I'm going to get a drink? Yeah. Because yeah. it's very hot here. Okay. And then uh, yeah. um, then we'll uh, we'll come back uh, just uh, and carry on to see the next round. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. A little break. There we are.
Oh, yeah. All right. Got my cup of tea. Yeah, I was wondering whether to try and fix myself so I also appeared on the stream, but uh, I think that's probably oh, a that's forlorn, a idea. probably a forlorn <laughs> hope for today. I think well, so. Uh, you could switch it so you're on and I'm not. Hmm. I don't understand why I'm not on there, but uh, don't know. we've done this loads of times and uh, we've always managed to be both on there. But uh, OK, well, uh, it's round four now. Yes. Let's OK, have so a... who's on three out of three? We've got four players on three out of three. Vlad, Bazouk, KSPTTW, Alexei Kiriev and Queen Eating Dragon. And we have another four players on two and a half. All to play for. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look at uh, uh, Vlad. KSPTW. We haven't seen him yet against Vlad again. Ooh, bishops on b1 and g1. Not easy to get both of them active like that. But white's going for that sort of, uh, well, little tower, really, with uh, mm. um, going to play pawn on c3, probably, and, uh, and uh, um, have the other bishop on c2. Um, Black's going for a, 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 a maybe a more semi Slav uh, setup. <laughs> well, and also going for a slightly creative solution, I think, with a bishop on h7 there. Oh, so, um, oh. b3, slightly strange move. That would be a fianchetto if the bishop was on its normal start square. Yeah, that's a very strange yeah, move. I think that one's trying, it's trying to stop the knight coming in, I suppose. Oh, good lord, that's a very. Yeah, actually, although it's never quite sure. I mean, sometimes you play moves like this and you think, wow, look at that king on d1. It's really open. On the other hand, you can always just uh, castle kingside in one go. It's one of the very yeah. difficult things about uh, chess 960 that you don't, uh, it's uh, optically, you feel like your king's very exposed, but actually, you know, you, you, can, you can get it to yeah. safety from, uh, from all sorts of areas. Yeah, and same for black's king, isn't it? But yeah, I mean, black... Like Black and go come here or could come over there even. So ah, look the at that. Crossing lock. Look, yeah. look at that. Look at yeah, that one. Okay. Let's see that one again. Bong. Like that. <laughs> Whee. Whereas if black went long, then that king just goes to the next door square. Yeah. Is black going to go long? I'm not sure really. Oh well, yes. <laughs> long is shorter than short. <laughs> he's going to. He's definitely going to do it now if he's going to play a move like g5. Um. G three. Yeah, I mean, I think White could consider just playing E five here. It's not uh, not stupid at all. Oh yeah, and swap off that problem bishop. Swap off the bishop, and um, and then you, you're going to play, you know, C five and B four and B five. That's quite uh, an easy mm. plan. This advance on the H file. Doesn't look too dangerous to me, really. But uh, and uh, well, that's a very nice square for a knight as well. It just looks like a rather bad Karakhan now for uh, for Black. Yeah, swapped off the bishops. Well, White's not not hiding his intention of uh, of mm -hmm. advancing, and uh, Black's castled now. Yeah, knight d seven. Ah, I think a5 now. Yeah, f6. these pawns okay. can come in pretty quick, can't they? Okay, f6. Okay, so, but, okay, but we've got this... Uh, e5, I suppose. No, I don't think e5. I think we're going to try and do something on the h file. Um, maybe, maybe just, que oops, maybe queen h5. Oh, okay, queen h5 was maybe dangerous with the idea of uh, h takes g3. Maybe that's what in was intended and he dropped it on the way. Um, yeah, what has white got now? B4 is maybe interesting. Um, got to be a little bit careful, though, with this uh, queen coming over here. Um, now I really like white's position, but I'm not, I'm not so sure anymore mm. now. Maybe I should just take on here. Yeah, so if open it up somehow. If it takes, I've got uh, queen e7. Um, and if takes uh, if you take take here, then um, 
well, something like Queen B5 might, or, or maybe Rook C1 first might uh, end up being very dangerous. I think that's something like this is uh, needed. I think you certainly need to uh, to open things up because uh, yeah, definitely. otherwise Black might just uh, end up taking and going to like Queen H7 and uh, you might yeah, end up opening problems. up whenever it's convenient for Black. Yeah, White's done it. So, okay, going for it then. So Queen E7. I suppose maybe would Black could Black play quietly and just take take and go Rook E8. Sorry, Queen E7. Queen C2. Okay. Now that's also a good idea. Hmm. So how would Black defend Queen E? Try and defend that pawn. Mm, I'm thinking more in terms of knight b8. That's not what you want to do. No. It's a very good move this queen c2. I mean, also if you're trying to think of a of a counter attack, uh, then queen f5 check just wins a piece. Queen c2 is a very unpleasant move. Oh, good lord! Well, queen f5 check wins a piece there. Um, oh, queen c6. That's more risky. It might be very good as well, but. I think rook c1 might be quite strong for mm. uh, for 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 white because you're threatening queen b7 and rook c7. Yeah. But queen f5 check was quite uh, was just you know easy. Yeah. Ooh, fg. Oh, I don't like that at all. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. It's all happening now. F h g. We've got bishop g3. That keeps stuff together. Um. That. Ooh. Uh, H three, not, three. not silly. Uh, queen F three, but I, I, again, I think Rook C one is very strong here now. Yeah, again, because there's just no way you're going to stop. Uh, you're going to stop uh, Queen B seven and Rook C seven, or no way that I can think of anyway. Oh, so it looks like Vlad Baziuk is going down. Yeah. Where's Vlad Baziuk from? I don't know. Because I think when you hovered your mouse over the other one, KSP, that was... was that Ukraine. Poland? Ukraine. Ukraine. And the other guy was Poland, is it? Is it Poland against Ukraine? Yeah. Oh, he's got um, he's got a rating of 2621, this guy. Um, on, oh, gosh. Um, on oh, Blitz. This guy's, this on Blitz. guy's good. <laughs> on Blitz. And uh, this guy's not bad at, uh, at Blitz, but uh, this guy's much stronger. Wow. Okay, so Rook F8. Actually, um, I was slightly... Um, premature with what I said because um, Black has found defense, so king there you can go king d8. Um, yeah. And why is Black threatening queen f2 here? Um, queen a8. The question is can we just sacrifice and win? Oh, we can just sacrifice and win, yeah. Take some rook c1. Oops, rook c1 afterwards. This is very nicely played by White, don't you think? Pretty nicely played, yeah. So we check. I guess Black should go here. We go Queen C6, maybe. Yeah, King E7. Queen B7, he's gone. Oh, that's even stronger. Sorry, yeah. I'm, uh, we've got Rook C6 now with mates. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. good game, actually. Actually, very, very nice. good game, yeah. So uh, let's have another look at what's going on. So that was quite a big one, big fight at the top. Uh, Ricardo Gucci, um, who would be playing uh, Alexei Kiriev? Let's have a look at, uh, oh, here he is, here he is. Oh, uh, oh, he looks like he's going to, uh, he looks like he's going to win, I think. This looks very, very strong for black. Um, see. Pawn against. up against uh, Satria Berkontor. Alexei Kirov is twenty four eighty three at Blitz, so quite decent. Okay. Yeah. Well, now, it's attracted a strong field, hasn't it? This it certainly court. has. So yeah, this is just uh, completely winning for uh, for Black. So it looks like Alexei Kirov is going to go to uh, to four points as well. Yes. Let's have a look. What else have we got here? Um, 
Proton Queen eating Dragon. Queen eating Dragon. Oh, what is that? Absent. No, Queen eating Dragon was absent. Oh. So it didn't turn up. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at, uh, is this an interesting game? No, I'm not sure. Uh, Tyran. We haven't seen Tyran yet. GM Tyran. Oh, yes. Let's see Tyran. Let's see. 2390 in Blitz. 2552 in Bullet. From Ukraine as well. From Ukraine. Who's Mr. Smith AMC? I would think of Andrew Smith. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, A.P. Smith. But that's A.P. Well, there's, there's two Andrew Smiths, isn't there? There's A.P. Smith and... I've forgotten what the middle is, is the other Andrew Smith. So this is just have a quick look at how the how the pieces started. A.A. Smith. It was A.A. Ah, Smith as well. They, were, they started off in the corner there. So that's always uh, pretty easy to get the bishops reasonably active. Yeah, um, B3 and then I suppose C4 after that. But um, but black is uh, black's doing very, very nicely here, of course. So pawn up and uh, a big space advantage. And actually, yeah, white's struggling to get his... Uh, his bishop on b2 active there, whereas the black bishops are quite uh, quite good. I'll tell you who usually plays in the mind sports when it's in person. Another grandmaster is um, Alexander Chenayev. Chenayev, exactly, play, yes. Yeah, I don't think he's playing this time, but uh, no, I haven't I seen him. I wouldn't know who he is, no. That's a very big time disadvantage there, so that's going to... Uh, I think Black's inevitably going to win that one, I'm afraid. Let's have a little look at uh, see what else we've got. Oh, this is quite a... Uh, somehow uh, the opponents, uh, both players have managed to uh, to get the position. Wow, that's very... That, that looks like quite, a, like quite a jumble, really. But now uh, if you look at this position, it's uh, it's gone quite normal. So how strong is our player? 2307 at uh, Blitz. Uh, is that Ukraine as well? That's Ukraine as well, yeah. Quite a big Ukrainian uh, contingent uh, here. And because, now which which Ukraine country was it that, where they've got a really good contingent that comes to the mind sports? Estonia. Feature? Estonia. Estonia, Andrus Kusk and um, Madly Murmur and some others. Yeah. No, uh... oh, I used to know all their names. I can't remember now. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, are they playing this year? I don't know. They wouldn't necessarily play in the chess events, so would they? They play. Uh, no, no. I think Andras Kuska played. Uh, did one of the chess, the chess solving, didn't he? One time. He but, definitely uh, did the chess solving. He won it, didn't he? He was very good at the chess solving. But um, I've never seen him play a chess competition. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is one of those weird things uh, that you, you get in chess nine sixty, where um, a knight. Um, on a strange square suddenly comes out and, and yeah, all of a sudden your pieces are a little bit embarrassed. Um, obviously B7 and C7 are hanging here, so um, I would think now, well, we've got to be a little bit careful. If we go take on C7, we could maybe take, take and go Bishop D8 and uh, pin the knight on, uh, on A5. A4 is a bit of an unpleasant move, I think. If the bishop goes back to d7 now, then queen takes c7. Oh, yes. Uh, b6, but this is not going to be pleasant at all. Um, we could... So do we want to take that bishop, I wonder? Well, we've got a, we've kind of got an embarrassment of riches, really. <laughs> I think takes, takes, and rook takes is going to be... Yeah, I mean, that's going to be quite uh, uh, quite pleasant. Well, am I am I maybe being? Uh, so we don't get back clear. rank mated at any point because that well, wouldn't be much good. That that would be a bit uh, a bit annoying indeed. <laughs> yeah, down there. Uh, yeah, I should be a little bit careful. I mean, rook takes. If you take with a rook here, so you take take. But queen c seven. Um, maybe that's okay. I could go queen e four. I could take on d six maybe. I have the feeling there should have been a bit more in that position, but uh, always tricky. Yeah. Um, 
But there's, there's no back rank mate anyway. You know, takes, takes. No, because you can retreat. Oh, knight. there could be now, though. If you do it. <laughs> no, no, you no, no, you've got knight f1. So, you've got knight f1. Now you've got knight f1. Uh, rook a7. Interesting. I wonder... Ooh, that's not... That's a sharp little move. Takes, takes, and then uh, bishop takes a7. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So bishop g5 is necessary, but I think we can... We can take on here now, can we? Oh, not clear. Takes, queen check, and knight f8. Knight in onto e4. Yeah, queen e7. It looks nice. It looks uh, it's it looks powerful for white, but it's it's not clear that uh, that you're really getting uh, getting something there. I mean, if you take, he takes. Queen c8, knight f8, and your um, black's actually quite mm. solid there. And of course, your back rank is is quite weak, so um, a bit unfortunate for white. Actually, it looked like uh, found quite a nice little idea, but um, oh. queen c6. So lots of strong Estonians, um, although playing the other events. Andres did win a chess event before, and he's twenty two hundred. And Italy used to have lots of players at the MSO. And quite a few Italians who are playing, including Riccardo. Yeah. D5. It's I nice, think... isn't it? You've got a very... Uh, uh, I think, got lots I think, of countries represented. I think I would have played... I would have tried maybe played a move like H6 or something just to uh, um, make sure Stopping that you're... Stopping back ranks once and for all. Yeah, because D5, I'm, I'm not quite sure what this one's doing. Because, I mean, if we... Uh, when we take it... Rook d7. Um, yeah, queen yeah, b5. And this, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, okay, yeah. okay. We can we can just about get away with it, I suppose. But I mean, knight g3, we're we're a pawn up. Although, actually, no. Mm. Come to think of it, wait a minute. Knight g3. You're kidding me. He can't go rook b4, can he? And just pick up the pawn on b2. It's conceivable that he can. Wow. So maybe, oh, I think maybe F3 or something was uh, was was going to be. Well, actually, yeah. Ooh. So not this clear. should be just a draw, no? Well, I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, it's With a bit. Oh, B4 rook B4. Points. I think was. I think rook ah. B4 was quite uh, was quite okay. But uh, the problem is the black's got no time now. So uh, this is yeah. just going to this is just going to be a win for white. Rook B1. Knight E5. We'll be a little bit careful now. Um, how are you going to do this? Maybe, maybe king e2. That's the best move. Just to uh, uh, knight c4 and b4. That's yeah. Black white's doing it quite nicely here. Just uh, it was possible to uh, to lose that pawn, but this is just going to be winning now. And uh, obviously, with the time situation, it's just a question for white of uh, of just playing out the moves. It's very easy to um, to suddenly. Uh, um, Find yourself with no time whatsoever in uh, yeah, like this. Yeah. It's, um, okay, that's going to be a win for uh, for White. Let's see whether we can get some last action. Oh, good lord! This is a weird one. One, two, Eight, three, seven, four, five, six, six seven. King. Is wow. that that really is seven? Uh, seven pawns against one. Yeah, indeed. How funny. <gasps> yes. Um, this is not looking good for white, um, of course. This looks good for game king. Just a question of how do you get your pawns moving, but uh, um, once you work that out... Then, plenty of uh, choice. <laughs> plenty of choice. Yeah, rook g5 is a very good move there. Um, white does have the extra piece. Yeah. Against we've got some, all those millions of pawns. <laughs> we've got some nice checks. I mean, black's got a big time advantage as well. So it's it's as long as you keep on going. Um, I'd say probably bringing the king round to f six to g five is quite a good idea. Um, but I think uh, yeah, black's just using uh, wasting a bit of time for. Uh, well, yeah, I think king f six is would be a very oh king d seven okay. Oh, you can protect the the pawn with the, with rook e seven and go b four. That's also quite decent Just technique. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, oh, he's trying this this trick with getting the um, H6 pawn to turn into a queen. Yeah, but this is. Uh, I mean, if you're if you're ahead on time, these sort of things, you know, are a lot more dangerous. But uh, with all the time in the world, um, yeah, this is not going to work. Um, he's uh, hanging on for grim life, B Dennis T, but uh, Game mm. King wins it. Twenty three twenty at uh, bullet, so um, uh, quite a These two have player. played each other a lot of times. Look, Dennis T, eight eight and a half half between Game King and Dennis T. Okay. All right, that's pretty good. I think that's probably the uh, the end of the round, so let's have a look. Yeah. Two players on four. Well, we know which game we'll be looking at uh, to start with. Okay, yes. And, and it'll be a strong game. Indeed. Yeah. How many viewers have we got uh, on the uh, live stream, on, on our live stream, uh, Natasha? On our live stream, not very many, I'm afraid. Six viewers. Well, thank you for being there. Yes, thank you all for watching. Um, and on the other stream, on the Facebook stream, two viewers, three viewers, three. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the big matchup. Yes. Actually, I should tweet. Go for it. The big matchup is happening now. Alexei Kiriev, uh, his rating is 24.83 at uh, Blitz against KSPTW's 26.21 at Blitz. So, was it 24.83? Did you say 26? Sorry, 26.21. 26.21 against uh, 24.83. So yeah, bishops on b1 and c1. This is very natural. Then you're going to play c3 and d4. You get both bishops open. Actually, you can have a very nice London system uh, if uh, white allows it, black allows it. So um, I think white played c3 because if you went d4, black would play bishop f5. So um, black takes the opportunity to go e5. Okay, so d4. e4 feels natural now. Um, this could get quite sharp, actually, because uh, I suppose white might play f3. They're just a London system now. And pinning this uh, bishop on b8, so that's quite a quite a nice uh, quite a nice little gain, I suppose. Um, what can Black do? Maybe uh, Knight b6 is a is a useful one to do, just to try and bring the Knight into c4, attack b2. This I thought of this too. This is quite aggressive. Um, I mean, Black might consider playing g5 at some stage. I don't think. I think h4 was really necessary, to be honest, but, uh, um, and g3. Okay, the knights maybe, ah, oh, the knights maybe going to come around here. Yeah, that's not a bad, uh, not a bad plan at all. I think maybe I would now, now get this knight uh, into b6 and possibly into c4. I think that's a nice, a very nice square to be on. Um, and obviously you want to get this, this bishop active at some stage. Oh, b6, wow. Not bad. I mean, it stops the knight getting to c5. You might, I suppose, play bishop a6 and then, okay, not bishop a6, just uh, bishop e6. A little bit in the way of a, a knight coming here, maybe. Um, bishop g5. Going to be interesting. I think white is going to castle queenside. I think this is what he's teeing up for. So, um, oh. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I thought uh, maybe White would um, would play the knight to f4, maybe. And uh... okay, this is another another decent idea. Just uh, the knight will come into f4 eventually, but um, it's getting a little bit solid now. So um, uh, I mean, I think with Black, I, I would probably play Bishop d6, Knight c7. Yeah, get the knight out. And I think you know, if you go Knight f4, you can just take it because. Uh, well, I suppose white might go g takes f4. If you go knight f4, bishop f4, gf, you might well do. And uh, castle queen side and get the rook onto uh, the g file. But I don't know. It's a little bit... I'm not sure really how... How amazing that is. Um, you 
could just leave the knight on f4, I suppose, and play bishop f7. Have, but... this, have the players castled? No, not yet. No. Black can always castle oh, queenside, so you see. You could uh, always castle well. queenside. You could get, yes, yes, yes. You could castle queenside now, so, couldn't you? Yes, yeah, so I think... I, I, that I would, would be I, surprising. I'm expecting black to castle queenside now, I think. We'll have to um, see that in slow motion. Although, yeah, it's not so... Yeah, you might get some kind of queen a6 tricks at some point. Yeah, maybe. it's not. Black's king is just a little bit uh, unsafe there. Maybe, uh, I suppose black might play knight e6 takes f4, but uh, maybe black could play knight e6 to g5. That would not be stupid at all. Oh, yeah. That would probably be quite a nice uh, a nice one. Yeah, so that's why white's taking. So these two players have played once before. Um and KSPTTW won the previous encounter. Okay. Yeah, he's the stronger player, considerably the stronger player. Um, so it's a little bit... Yeah, I'm not 100% not sure about that move. Uh, it's a little bit... Um, I think, you know, black's just a little bit better now, I think. Uh, it's not very easy for white to get anything done here, and uh, um, black has potentially quite a... Well, you know, he's got the uh, he's got the two bishops. There we are. Did you see that one? White could always quite. Yeah, I was going to say white could always castle greenside, and then he did. Yeah, and then he said again. Did. Yay! Do that again. Bow. Mm -hmm. I mean, with casting, you always feel you're doing two moves at once. I mean, with uh, chess nine sixty casting, you feel like you're doing uh, you know uh, maybe four or five moves at once. So, okay, how is black going to try and do this? Um, I mean, you're not really going to be breaking through on the king side here. I mean, you could you could try and do something like uh, go g6, you know, bishop f7, g6, and then try and organize uh, a march of the h-pawn forward. Um, white I wants... just wonder if black will switch to the queen side now and start pushing the a-pawn. Could do. That's uh, another very reasonable plan it's all going to take quite a bit of time of course um yeah yeah and that I mean, looks going to be stuck on if you don't castle the rook might get stuck on h8 i suppose yeah it's kind of it's a difficult difficult uh decision really you know to uh but i don't think that black's going to castle queenside now not with a knight's exchange so i suppose black could always just move that rook on f8 and then castle kingside and get to get the other rook out yeah that's possible that's absolutely possible um, I suppose white's going to try and bring the knight oops, around here, here and here, I guess. Um, that looks like a natural square for the knight. Um, yeah, I think he's going to do your plan. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit tricky for black. It's, you're, you're not really sure I, I quite uh, where you're going to... Um, uh, when you're going to when you're going to break through and it's always the nice thing about having a knight that always gives you uh you know a plan to uh to, to get it to an outpost somewhere so uh, uh i mean the white's doing a very good job at least to uh to stay ahead on time like that let's just have a quick look at uh, some of the other games this one's uh yep. just a little bit um uh ooh, vlad basiuk this is quite a a high rated matchup Uh, so what have we got here? Um, how did they start off? Let's just have a quick look. Bishops on not such a strange position. The bishops are normal. The knights can get out to normal squares. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, but um, Ooh, Black is uh, sacking the uh, the exchange there. Well, if knight d4... Oh, actually, this is horrible. If knight d4, we've got c5, and uh, actually if rook d4, we've got c5. So it looks as if uh, white has blundered. Now, the only thing you might say is knight takes pawn here. Sorry, pawn there. Uh, yeah. Sorry, so knight there, pawn there, knight takes. I take on e6. Bishop takes a knight there. Yeah, and you're getting two... 
Yeah, that's, that, that might be quite dangerous actually. Two bishops and a rook. When this bishop is gone, the you're queen. also you're also going to get an e5. So um, that's pretty good for white, isn't it? That's pretty good compensation actually. So it's maybe not as scary as you uh, as you might think. So it could be. I mean, after knight d4, you could play a move like oh oh oh. Now, unless I've missed something, this is just end of game. Ah, c5 happened. Yeah, this is end of game though because the. You've taken with a rook on d4. Now this is completely gone. That's just going to be a, why it's just going to be a piece down uh, there. Yep. No, that's uh... okay. So it looks like Vlad Basiuk right. is, is, the other one, then. Yeah. is going down again. Ooh. Oh, this was not clever. I can. See... <laughs> this was not good. This was not a pawn that you should be taking. This one. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what happened then? Oh, he did, uh, did he do my plan with a5? Uh, he played a5 and white uh, went in and uh, uh, if we just have a quick look there. Yeah. A5 and he went, oh, he played rook c1, which was very odd. You would think the knight would come back, but uh, queen a6. Um, and uh, yeah, and then the just played to trap the queen. Um, oh, how funny. Now, are you going to are you going to succeed? You are going to certainly going to get extremely close. Well, actually, yeah. Um, okay, let's have a look. So, so if you go rook c eight, oh rook b six, simply yeah, huge. Yeah, this is completely gone. Oh dear me. Mm -hmm. A pawn grab that turned into disaster. Yeah. Three minutes to finish it off. That's that's more than enough. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have a a clear leader. Have a clear leader. KSBTW is yeah. probably the strongest uh, rated player there, I guess. Um, yeah. Now there is a cash prize, isn't there? Across, it's across all the chess events, I think. Um, oh, I, th I so... thought there was. Wasn't there one for this one tournament? Is there one just for this tournament in isolation as well? That's I thought I thought so, but I'm not uh, I'm not uh, hundred percent sure. Yeah, because there are a few is chess events going on. Um, so the mind sports is going on uh, all the way through August, and so it plays on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday nights, and weekends. And there's a lot of chess, lots of different chess events. Oh. So I think there's some some kind of blitz and bullet and. Um, all sorts, all sorts. Oh, gaming GM didn't turn up, so that ended up a one zero, one e four best buy test, as they say. Um, let's have a look. Um, I'll just have a look a little bit lower. Let's see uh, whether we've got some uh, players here. And there's Proton. Who? Oh yeah, Proton. Proton. Uh, he's uh, there. Let's have a look at uh, Apradan. He played some quite interesting games. Hello. Oh, Hi. and who is, by the way, who is DRS4? Because I had a theory on who that might be. Uh, I don't know who it is. He's English at any rate. I had a theory it might be David Sedgwick. Just because, D is, is he DRS? Uh, but I played him two or three times last night. Oh, was that we got mated on B7 in the end? I, we're it, we're it rook was, up. You were rook up. it was and... one all. Yeah, well, I think I won one and lost one or something. Okay. Against DRS. So this is uh, uh, Proton uh, playing uh, one, two, three, four. So actually, even material, um, a little bit more. Uh, Black's a little bit more aggressive, I suppose. But um, I suppose Black's going to play uh, H4 here, maybe. Is that possible? The idea would be HG, HG. But then after H4, White's going to play Knight E4. Um, I suppose I could go Rook E2 then. Uh, and then knight c3. Ah, uh, Marek says actually this that KSPTTW has already won one of the mind sport chess events. Ah, yeah, okay. I'm not surprised. He's, he's dead strong. Um, so yeah, because because you have to get when you get the, the best person across five events wins the or becomes the kind of mind sport chess champion. So you have to do five different events. So so KSPTTW has already got one, and he might win again tonight. So he'll be. 
Ooh. He'll be taking a strong lead in that this one. It's going to get very sharp here. So knight e4. Maybe we'll just play rook c2. What's black doing here? Because if, if we go rook e2, then knight c3, I think, just wins a piece. A bit unfair, really, but it looks like it does. <laughs> so I, I could go rook c2, but then I'm wondering about playing knight b4. Uh, but then you could probably play rook takes b2, takes I b2, take, yeah. and then a5. You certainly, get a, you certainly get a piece back. Mm. So, um, but seeing how much time Proton's spending, I think he probably missed uh, knight e4. Or maybe missed rook e4, knight c3. But I think rook c2 is still uh, still reasonable. But of course, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, why? Why could also just uh, take, take and go rook a seven and claim that he's uh, um, a pawn Got up. Two past ones. <laughs> but um, I mean, it would be there's quite a few. You can go rook g six, f three, f five, for example. So, going to be quite sharp that one. I don't think you can do anything else uh, for white. Okay, he's done it. Uh, so, okay, that's the line we thought. I I'm wondering about rook g6, actually, just to uh, attacking g4, and if f3, then f5, but that's probably, yeah, rook c2 is uh, probably more sensible. Okay, so it's going to be a sharp one. I mean, maybe, maybe why should just start going with b4? I suppose we'll put the rook in. Rook c4? Uh, b4, rook c4, yeah, we've got knight d6, takes f7, takes e5, that's the idea. Oh. Um, that's that's not a silly move actually. Rook b seven, because you get at least uh, you get oh, the chance to go a four. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. I mean, there's knight there's knight d three as well. A knight d three was possible. Uh, attacking b two. I'm not sure about f five. Well, okay. Um, just feels I'm not quite sure that you're really getting your rook active in that way. Would have, yeah, would have maybe, maybe preferred F, I think with F6 maybe. Difficult, these are difficult positions to uh, to handle. Um, I would definitely take on F5 with the, uh, I don't think you want to allow black to take on G4 or do anything like that. Mm. Oh, knight D6. Hmm. Risky. I mean, you, you, the aim is to go knight f7, take c5, so um, oh, I'm not sure about rook f6. I was more looking at something maybe like knight e2 or even rook h5 is not complete, wasn't completely stupid. I would have liked to actually, you know, with white just to start pushing the a-pawn, but uh, oh, this is, this is going to be a bit dangerous now. Um, hg. You need to do that immediately. Not sure. Uh, rookie two is maybe rook g two. Oh, good lord! So what am I doing? It's mate. Oh, good lord, Matthew. Rook h six is coming in with mate. Oh, that's quite. Ooh, ooh. It's a turnaround. Yeah, that's a big, big turnaround. That well one. done, Proton. <laughs> Let's have a look. Three ongoing games. Um, Let's have a look. Uh, well, this is just completely hopeless for... Uh, this is where we saw um, uh, Black just winning a piece early on. So that's uh, completely hopeless. Uh, what was the time situation? A little bit better for uh, for White, but not enough there. Um, oh, Ricardo Guecci. Oh, looks like he's... Um, I think he's going to lose that. King G6, we go Rook G5, takes G2. So he's got to come back. Oh, I was a bit nervous about that sort of moving the pawns closer towards the king, but uh, oh, this is uh, oh, this has worked out very well with rook f5. Probably play h4 or maybe rook f4 first, and then h4. Just really corner the king, and then uh, um, 
yeah, I mean, this is just going to be winning for uh, for black. Rook f4, I think, would be quite decent for b5. Shall we see how Knight Leap is doing? Uh, let's have a look. Um, just going to scroll down a little bit. Knight Leap. Uh, he's got two and a half out of four. Uh, yeah. Out of five. Out of uh, five. Five, sorry. Maybe played five, yeah. Okay, um, let's see what the... Uh, we've got beat Dennis T, who had that thrilling game. Last round, oh, he's easily winning on time. Oops, that's not a good one. I wonder if that person who withdrew on three out of three, I wonder if they're trying to play another game in parallel. It could be, it could be, yeah, yeah. It's uh, all right. I think that's probably <coughs> one ongoing game uh, next round. There we are. So we've got five out of five. Uh, we've got... Um, yes. Okay, so this will be uh, KSPTTW. I guess we'll play the person on four and a half. They Indeed. won't have played before. Who, who did a little... Oh, he was late. So he's actually got on four uh, out of four. But um, uh, Okay, okay, okay. So it's another big match. Uh, from Ukraine, 2307 um, in, uh, okay. in, Blitz, in, in Blitz. So, yeah, FM strength. Um, but normally uh, the number one is much stronger, of course. And Gem Tiran, he didn't have such a high rating, did he? No. And Game King is still in there with four. Indeed. Countdown here. And Gem Tiran. Did we find out where's Tiran from? Uh, Ukraine, I think, as well. Ukraine as well. Interesting. Okay, let's have a look at the game. Okay. Ooh, okay, so bishops on e1 and f1. Uh, a little bit annoying, that is, but um, you could play e4, uh, d4, c4, get the bishop onto c3. Yeah. Um, it's just a little bit awkward. It's going to be a bit awkward casting kingside. That is definitely true. I might um, want to line my... Oh, you could try and line your bishop up against the queen, like we're putting it on c4. I suppose if you do, they might get a e6, d5 sort of thing in. Yeah, I mean, one off. thing you've got to watch out for is uh, is this queen takes a7. Um, although... Oh, nice. Yes, so you I, could start with f4. Yeah, you've got to be a bit careful there. I think, very... I think um, uh, this was actually... Have I even had something like this? f4, f5, queen a7, and then knight b6. And then you play yeah, rook so a8 afterwards. Get out and, oh, your you and, 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 and your away. queen is also looking at a2, so quite tricky. Yeah. Now, I do wonder... Um, oh, he's spending a lot of time yeah. on the first move. He's having a think. Well, well, that's right. I think you would. Yeah. I'm not sure. Well, this uh, is quite a lot of time. <laughs> this is rather a lot of time, to be honest. So a little bit worried about that one. Uh, let's have a look. We'll come back to it... Uh, uh, this one, Game King against Tiran. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, just have a quick look how it started. Um, oh, that was the same one. Uh, oh, no, no, Bishop's on F1, E1. So, E4. Oop. Sorry, just get to the end there. Ooh, okay. Ooh, this is quite, uh, quite unusual, this one. So... Knight attacking d4, you're going to have c3, just to break oh, things open. I never open. really know in this how quickly to try and get my queen out in this game. Oh, it's the same as normal chess, I think. Yeah. Knight d5, a little bit of tactics there. Ed, we've got uh, bishop f5. Of course, that knight's coming around to f4, which is quite, uh, might be a little bit annoying. Um... Yeah, and then black can chase away the. So you could knight like throw in something like knight h six and muck up, muck up the pawns, and then take on d five. That he certainly could do. Yeah, I was thinking about knight g seven when you go knight f four. 
Um, yeah. So that would not be good. You could go knight h6. Takes and takes. Um, yeah, it's possible. Suppose it lets that bishop out, that f8. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, decent, decent. Double edged. Double edged. I think this is not so good, though, because I think uh, knight f4 now, and then we'll go g6 and just chase that knight back. And then the knight on f4 here is um, is very, very nice. Mm. Um, well, these people have played each other twice before, so Tiran is 2 0 up against game king. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think I think uh, Black's actually doing quite well here. Yeah, they're only on move ten. Let's have a look. Have we got our? Ah, uh... oh, yeah, there we are. So how did that go? Knight g three. He went for the two knights opening. Knight b three, d five, e four. Ooh, okay. Takes takes knight c three. Oh, that's not uh, that's not stupid at all, actually. Um, that's pretty good. Um, I mean, White's got an idea of um, of playing d four. Yeah. And uh, and then afterwards you could castle uh, queenside like that. Um, you'll also have an idea of playing f four. You know, to you uh, can't castle queenside. A castle queen side. You'd have to well, move your rook out the way. Well, okay. D1 well, first. Well, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Takes rook, takes d4, and yeah. then afterwards you can castle. Oh, yeah. And then just hop the other rook over. Yeah. Yeah. So, a6 uh, is a decent move, I guess. Just stopping uh, queen takes a7 at any stage. But I think this is an annoying move. Because, uh, I mean, queen a7, we can also have bishop a6 afterwards. Also, maybe knight a5. Um, again, you're not maybe you're not sure whether it's dangerous or not, but uh, you do have to watch out. Mm. Knight b6 here. Yeah, it stopped it. Yeah. Bishop f2. So it's quite a nice uh, battery here as well. I don't yeah. know whether White's. Uh, I don't know whether White's uh, any better here, but it feels like White's uh, has played with some decent ideas anyway. Um, and I mean, maybe a, a sensible move actually would be to play rookie one. And then afterwards, the rook, you can castle queenside and bring the rook to d1. Yes. 